what's up tribe how you guys doing go ahead and hit that subscribe button i hope you like this video this is day three of vlogmas this is guess see mine i thought the bells were going to annoy me so i'm gonna have to try to keep my head kind of still but um this is day three and this is the best gift i ever received now i really honestly i've been thinking about this really for two days because i've been thinking about it since yesterday um, and honestly, y'all, I wanted to come down here and give y'all a whole spirit of Christmas moment. All the best gift I received was a dot, 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 something very uplifting and spiritual. But I kept coming back to the same story, which is very materialistic. So sorry, this is not going to be that vlogmas. This is going to be that post. I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to give y'all the materialistic really be in this moment. So when I was in high school, I'm going to date myself. I went to a Catholic school. I went to an all-girls Catholic high school where we wore a uniform every day. And so for high school students, there were three major ways we could express ourselves. This is, you know, high school. We could have the flyest hairdo. We could have the best shoes or the newest shoes, whatever, and our purse. I think this is when I fell in love with designer bags. Those of you who know me know that I am a bag whore. I am a designer bag whore, okay? Now, I will get me a nice little cheap bag if it's cute, and I think I can hook it up, so don't get it twisted. I Listen, but when Payless was still out, I would buy me a little cute bag out of Payless. I'd give me a cute little bag that don't have nobody's name on it. But I also have a closet full of designer bags that I have probably spent way too much money on in my lifetime. But with that being said, the best gift that I ever received, and y'all, I'm probably going to think of 20 other examples like next week. But for today, in high school, I wanted a coach bag. I wanted a coach bag. I wanted a coach bag. Now, nowadays, Coach has been a little watered down. It's no disrespect. Coach is still a designer bag. It is what it is. But be, we have all these outlets and stuff that we have today, okay? You had to go to the coach store to get a coach bag. It wasn't no, oh, let me ride down here to the outlet or oh, three or four other outlets if I don't have it here. No, 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 no. And I remember like the classic coach now that everybody like the clack the ones that they call the classic ones the leather ones with the like the sack and the hobo and all the different styles back then if y'all grew up when i grew up y'all know what i'm talking about i wanted a coach bag and i remember my mother saying uh-uh that's a grown woman bag uh-uh that is uh-uh i I don't even have a coach bag. I ain't about to spend that kind of money on you for no coach bag like because again remember y'all it was a big deal it was a lot bigger deal than, than it is today. And again, there's no disrespect. I still carry a coach bag. I still got about, child now, I probably got about five or six of them in my closet. And I will still carry a coach bag. I ain't got no problems with that. But I'm just saying, hell, I got I got more than five or six. I got a whole coach. I got a lot of coach bags. Anyway, but I remember wanting this coach bag so bad. Oh, I wanted this coach bag so bad. And my mother was like, I'm not getting you no coach bag. I'm not getting you no coach bag. And I believed her because my mama is not that person. And my mama says she ain't going to do something, she ain't going to do it. And I believe her. So I was working on my daddy because I'm a daddy's girl and I'm spoiled. So I was working on my daddy. And shut up, uh, Abby Reviews, before you start talking about, see, I know you spoiled. Don't do that. Don't do me, okay? But I wanted that coach bag so bad. And I remember on Christmas moment, morning, I was convinced I wasn't getting that coach bag. I was convinced. Like, you couldn't tell me I wasn't. I said, knowing my mama... She gonna go buy me like a leather purse that is coach light, but it ain't coach. Girl, she gave me that gift. Matter of fact, it wasn't even under the tree. It was not even under the tree. She handed me that thing and it was wrapped. And I was like, okay. Baby, I open up that box. <laughs> and I saw that coach back. Oh my God. And I think. 
that that started my obsession with designer bags. I think because in high school, I had a lot of designer bags because, again, I wore a uniform every day. And but I think. That and I had an MCM bag in high school. I think those were my two expensive designer bags. Now, the MCM bag my mama didn't buy. Don't y'all worry about where I got the MCM bag from. Just know my mama didn't buy it. Okay. But yeah, so I, if I had, I think that was it. Now, my second, which is still a materialistic one, but again, I had to keep coming around to it in high school. I don't think it was the same Christmas. I do not. This might have been the same Christmas. Maybe my my parents might have might have like refinanced the house or something this Christmas because I think this was the same Christmas. My daddy got me a tennis bracelet. He got me and my sister a tennis bracelet. And what he told us was that we were gonna be the he was gonna be the first man to ever buy us diamonds. That's what he said. He got me and my sister a um a tennis bracelet. You know, a diamond tennis bracelet. I mean, again, we're not talking about like break the bank tennis bracelet but it was diamonds i guess but i remember well yeah it must have been real diamonds but i remember my daddy saying uh-uh i'm gonna be the first man to buy y'all diamonds so okay now we had like little diamond studs when we got our ears pierced but child we was babies when they got ears pierced i don't even know what them things were and i don't know what that diamond bracelet is i wonder if my sister still has hers i'm gonna have to ask her I think I lost mine in college somewhere. Somewhere in my college life, child, I think that thing came up missing. But anyway, I was really trying to come up with a deep and profound the year I saved Christmas type story. But that's all I got. A designer bag and a tennis bracelet. From my one came from my mama and one came from my daddy. And I so maybe that's the sentimental. I don't know. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Drop it in those comments, peace. Tell me what y'all's best Christmas gift was. Maybe y'all inspire me to think of a different story or a different gift. I don't know. Anyway, let me know. Peace.